Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Raina Scully. I'm Sam Basher. By now, most of you know that the popular gaming blog site Joystick, as we know it, is no more. Editor-in-chief Ludwig Keitzman writes, there is no end in response to their recent shutdown. This heartbroken post serves as Joystick's last update, and it's very clear that each and every one of their writing staff truly loved what they did. An excerpt from the blog post reads, every day is a long day for the passionate. This is how it was for us. We had a drive to write about games and a duty to catch every little bit of information, make it fun to read, and keep it grounded. We loved the big games and coveted the small clever ones too. We learned how to play more games, think about them, in more ways and how to find the creators who didn't have a voice as big as ours. I'm personally more invested in reading about video games from those who are not only enthusiastic about gaming, but also relatable. This premise was exactly how Joystick went about their site and why they've been successful for a decade. Back in the early 2000s, before Joystick was launched, gaming websites were largely dominated by big corporate names, which meant there was little information out there about how the games were objectively. The story isn't much different nowadays, with publishers paying a great deal of money to have journalists review their games favorably, but thanks to the plethora of information and opinions now easily accessible via the internet from sites like Joystick, we can form our own thoughts and opinions, albeit still derivative. Joystick isn't the first or the only site to have their plug pulled. Massively and WoW Insider were closed simultaneously, and substantial layoffs have plagued GameSpot, Game Trailer, GameFront, and The Escapist. However, this round's cancellations were particularly important because it brings attention to questions like what is the fate of video game journalism? What even is video game journalism now? Mm. What's the value of the expertise in gaming? What purpose does an inside look at gaming provide other than intent to purchase. According to Joystick's site, Joystick's got a new home! As of February 4th, Joystick and Engadget are teaming up on a new project that will live on Engadget called Joystick X Engadget. The announcement seems upbeat and positive, which is a little bit misleading. Exact figures are unclear, but it appears that most of the staff will not be coming over to Joystick X Engadget, which means most of them were laid off. And they probably should have spent a little bit more time on the name. Maybe. Joystick's news content director tweeted out the staff's LinkedIn profiles in an attempt to get them hired for work elsewhere. That was nice of him. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So tell us what are your thoughts on the fate of video game journalism? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. I'm Sam Basher. And I'm Raina Scully.